International relations expert Dr. Vladimir Kidanso wants both foreigners and nationals engaged in Galamse dealt with in an interview with our report Natalie Fort. He maintained the country must not cotow to pressures from the Chinese government. He has, however, called for tactful handling of Chinese nationals engaged in the menace in the country. Illegal small-scale mining, popularly referred to in Ghana as Galamse, is widespread. The destruction to the environment by this activity has attracted condemnation from society. Water bodies, arable lands and hectares of food and cash crops have all been destroyed. Operations of the Ghana Water and the Electricity Company have also been mostly affected. To worsen the situation, foreign nationals from Ivory Coast, Togo and China, among others, are engaged in the illegal act. Information from the Ghana Immigration Service indicates Chinese nationals remain the highest number of foreigners in Galamse. This seems to be causing some friction between Ghana and China. The two are trading partners, with Ghana standing as the second biggest receiver of Chinese aid in West Africa. Between the year 2010 and 2011, there were about 78 Chinese finance projects in Ghana. Chinese investments in Ghana are seen in sectors such as education, social infrastructure, energy, telecommunications and transport. Chinese contribution to Ghana's development through aid has raised concerns from some watchers that a hard response from the government of Ghana could result in diplomatic stalemate. The Director for Academic Affairs at the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Dr. Vladimir Entry Danso, disagrees. Diplomacy should still play a very important role, but by diplomacy doesn't mean soft. And so in this instance, our laws might be seen to be respected, number one. Number two, the Chinese must be told in non-reserved terms what, the, what harm they're doing to our economy. But in a language, that makes them not angry with us and not infringing on our rights too. In case of a cold response by China, he asked government not to panic. If it's in the interest of the Chinese, knowing very well that Ghana needs a lot of gratis from them, uh, they will begin to squeeze you, uh, even from the back, uh, warning you about the fact that if you don't do this, then I won't give you the loan I've, I've promised. Or I will not give you the grant. But when you know yourself that that notwithstanding you are you are trying to protect the national interest, you would still go for it. Because I've always told governments, the national interest is always very vital. The government of Ghana has intensified efforts at stopping illegal mining. And the Chief Justice has designated 14 courts to deal with the menace.